Remember that the best way to study is to take practice tests, and if you can't find good practice tests, build your own and learn while you do it using the Learn My Test Study tool. It's absolutely free, and in the description there's a link to a practice test that I made using the Learn My Test tool. So we're going to talk briefly about sensation and perception. So without further ado, I'm going to jump in and just show you a couple of terms that are obviously very important. So sensation and perception. So sensation is essentially the process of your sensory organs detecting stimuli in your environment and converting that stimuli into electrical impulses that sent and processed in your brain and determines the your experience of all this of your conscious experience, which is uh, perception. So let me give an example. So uh, light comes in through your eyes and it's reflected off the lens. And then it goes to the back of your eye, which there's this structure called the retina. And the retina converts that light into electrical impulses that are sent to, through the optic nerve to, to your occipital lobe where you process vision. And so uh, that whole process is called sensation. And then how you see things, your experience of vision is called perception. So I'm going to, uh, an important term to know is transduction, and it's the process of converting the information to electrical impulses. So for example, um, when the light comes and hits the back of your eyes, it meets these photoreceptors called rods and cones, and those rods and cones convert the electrical, that light into electrical impulses, and that's called transduction. So when your senses convert information to electrical impulses, that is transduction. So I'm going to talk about a couple of ways to conceptualize um, sen uh, sensation and perception, and mainly perception. So there's, uh, there's bottom-up processing, which means that something happens in your environment that gets your attention. So that would be bottom-up processing. So like if you hear a loud noise, and that gets your attention, that's bottom up. Top down processing is where your attention is focused on uh, getting a sensation or determining a specific sen sensation. So it's coming from your brain. So for example, if I'm eating my mom's favorite ribs and I'm trying to savor every flavor of the ribs while I'm tasting it and I'm like, mmm, oh, that's good. That would be um, that would be top-down processing because I'm focusing my I'm choosing to focus my attention on something specific. So in regard to bottom-up processing, there's a term that I want you to know called sensory adaptation, and it basically means that when you have a stimuli that's constant in the environment, uh, it it may when it starts the the you're you're going to have lots of neurons firing but as that stimuli stays consistent you're going to have less neurons and less neurons firing over time because that stimuli is not it's not changing so it's not going to there's going to be less neurons firing so look for example what i want you to do is just press down on your wrist and do it like pretty hard i mean not like don't hurt yourself but just like I'm doing it right now. So I want you to leave it on your wrist and, you know, in the beginning you can probably feel it, you know, pretty, pretty hard. But then after a while, like, you know, now I can't even feel it. And it's because what happens is, uh, you know, it, all, all these neurons are firing telling you, oh, you've got something on your arm. But once you have it for, once you have that pressure for a while, it, and it stays consistent, then less neurons fire over time. So that is uh, sensory adaptation. Habituation is the top-down perspective of that, and it has to do with your attention and where you decide to focus your, um, your attention. So, for example, if something is, is new in your environment, like, you know, if I'm trying to record my video and my wife is watching a really loud TV show in the other room, I'm going to hear that immediately and be like, you know, and tell her, hey, can you turn that down? But if my wife's been watching that same show for a while at the same volume and I've been working, you know, for a while and not paid attention to it, 
then it's not really going to get my attention and I'm probably going to ignore it. So it's the idea that uh, after things, when things persist or when there's a stimuli in the environment that's very consistent, then you, you kind of ignore it, right? So like the fan, for example, I've had the fan on, you know, pretty much the whole day. So it's not going to get my attention. But if I just turned it on, I may be more likely to put my attention to it and make it feel cold. Hopefully this makes sense. So thank you for watching this video. Remember, the best way to study is to take practice tests. Um, if you can't find good, check out LearnMyTest.com. And uh, you can take the practice test by clicking on the link in the description. If you like this video, please hit the like button and stay and hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on our most recent content. Thank you again for watching.